I am starting my new crafty week. Now, I am speaking a little bit quietly <laughs> because um, he actually fell asleep a couple of minutes ago and I don't want to make wake him. Um, he was playing around a little bit, so um, I just left the room for a, mo for a moment and he fell asleep. <laughs> there he is. He is kind of out <laughs> I don't know what's wrong um, he's been sleeping a lot today but I guess he's getting older and he is so much fun now he's smiling and he's reacting to everything you do and he is kind of he makes a lot of interesting noises basically it's a fun fun time <laughs> but it's also um, not easy just because I am sort of, um, you know, I'm not sure about my crafty roulette weeks because I'm having a little bit of trouble filming them because I don't have as much time now. I have um, my graphic works that I need to finish and that's taking a lot of time plus a lot of changes in the house plus... Um, Marky, well, he needs attention as well, of course. Plus, my husband needs attention sometimes. Basically, I don't know <laughs> what's going on with my stitching. But I am trying to, you know, stitch as much as I can. Because I want to, not because I'm making myself. But, um, what can I say? Also, I really, really do want to, you know, finish keep working on my diamond painting the portrait of my baby and I cannot wait to see how it grows and how his face actually looks because I have seen the monkey I will be showing you that in the end of this video but obviously the monkey is really cute but uh, I really want to see the face of Mark in that <laughs> so that's the whole point um, I don't know yet what's going to happen this week because i am leaving to visit my mom for a couple of days so i guess i'll be taking some project with me i'm not really sure which one yet we'll see i think that i will decide about that when i leave but uh at this point i don't really know well it's probably going to be one of the smaller kits let's say that so maybe this maybe my Himera the lighthouse maybe my Hayed I don't know I have a lot of kits that are stitched well not on big frames so it's comfortable to take them with me anyways this is the opening for this week I have been stitching this little frame um show you on the chart not the chart but the preview so this is the place this is where I've been stitching this whole frame thing that frames out, you know, this design that I've finished. Now, I think that it's beautiful. <laughs> I just think that it's beautiful. But, um, it's really, really tiny. Really, really detailed. And, to be honest, it's fun to stitch. I was thinking, I was afraid that I would get tired of it really, really early on because well it's all stitched with one color and I love colorful colorful designs but um, <clears throat> I guess it's fun for me to stitch because of the metallics and because of the fabric the fabric is beautiful okay anyways um, this was the beginning of this week I haven't been counting how many crosses I have been stitching I didn't want to make it into an issue for this week so I guess I have some more time before I leave, before I live, before I leave to to my mom's house. So I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up something else to stitch in a couple of minutes or hours. I don't know. Well, it depends on how murky it will be feeling. But maybe I'll stitch something else before I go. Really. I actually want to stitch, you know what, maybe I'll start stitching a little bit of my Chimera of the Lighthouse. Yeah, that's what I want to stitch next. So that's what you're going to be seeing in the next clip. Alright, so like I said, yes, 
<laughs> this is what happened. Um, I did take take my Chimera. This is the lighthouse on a cliff, and one of my favorite projects, which is already more than halfway through. It's actually almost 70% done so I am trying trying to stitch it but I have so many amazing projects that I really want to do and so many amazing projects that I really want to start that I am getting really confused at where I want to go with it uh, plus I'm I think that I said that in my last clip that I really don't really know what to do with my crafty weeks not the crafty weeks with my uh, cross stitch roulette i really enjoy the game just because it makes me pick up projects that i don't really stitch that often like um the larger charts that i have the larger projects just not because i don't love them just because the smaller ones are more comfortable holding in my hand and the bigger ones i really need to you know attach the big frames to a holder Otherwise, I cannot stitch them because it's uncomfortable. So that's basically the reason why I'm not stitching the bigger ones so comfortably. Um, now, if you would say that I could just change the big frames to a smaller like hoop or something, it's not going to be really comfortable. Maybe for the Scorpio it can happen, but I really like stitching that on the frame because the millennium frame that i have because it's so stretched the fabric is perfectly tight and i love how it works on that and the other one on the large frame is 12 beauties which is also really really big so it's practically i think impossible to stitch it on a small hoop um i don't think that will be comfortable because you will have to do something with the fabric around and there's a lot of fabric around you can just imagine that it has like two plus meters of fabric so it's not comfortable it's going to be heavy and i don't really want to deal with that because eventually i will leave that project and i will not be going back to it and i don't want to because i think that it's beautiful anyways that's a dilemma so i'm going to be thinking about my crafty roulette for this week maybe i will just put it on hold and i'll just keep stitching crafty weeks for now because it's more comfortable in this point uh we'll see we'll see how this week goes and then i'll decide what i want to do plus i would love to hear what you have to say maybe you have suggestions uh, do you really want me to stick to crafty roulette or do you prefer me just to keep filming like crafty weeks or do you have any suggestions of your own i would love to hear that as well so um yeah anyways like i said i've stitched this a little bit uh, and I will be leaving today to visit my mom for a couple of days. I've decided to take my Khaed with me. And that's what I'm going to stitch over there. Hopefully I will be able to because, um, you know, you never know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be fun. I love that project. It's, well, relatively new now. So, yeah, I am really excited about new stuff that i'm starting anyways okay i will see you in a couple of seconds hopefully it, it will be interesting enough hey guys so as i promised today is actually the 11 no the 10th the 10th yeah and i haven't been stitching as much as i thought that i will be uh, during the last couple of days. I've been at my mom's house since uh, since Saturday and the thing is um, Actually, we had a little bit of an accident my baby Marky uh, I've been holding him in my in my arms and he was kind of with his back to me so he was trying to look back and he reached out he reached his hand back and he kind of poked me in the eye. 
it sounds stupid, but he did. He poked me in the eye and he had a little bit of a nail. I cut his nails almost every two days because they grow like crazy. And, uh, well, I had to do it before he poked me in the eye because he actually scratched my eye. And I haven't been able to open my eye for a couple of days. <laughs> well, um... I was able to stitch a little bit, but it was really painful because I could not keep my eye open for a long time. So yeah, that was an accident. Um, plus, we had a little bit of a rough night last night because uh, he gave us a very big scare. He was having a hard time uh, sleeping and he started crying really, really bad. And me and my mom was trying to keep him, like, calm, like, until 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, he wasn't, nothing was wrong with him. He didn't have any fever. Uh, his gums, I thought it was that, but I did put him uh, down with, I gave him this jelly for his gums so it will be calmer. Uh, so I don't think that was that. I just think he had trouble sleeping for some reason. Maybe tummy aches. He usually doesn't get tummy aches or gassing or colics. I don't know what it was. Well, he had a rough night. But um, when he did fall asleep, he ended up breathing really weird. Uh, you know, where when a kid, when a baby is crying really bad, he kind of grabs for hair for hair <laughs> for air a little bit after that like he's doing like this <laughs> like a little kid <laughs> so uh he, he actually fell asleep and he was doing that in his sleep and i was so scared because it seemed to me like he will stop breathing any minute so me and my mom stayed up with him until morning almost up until morning um like watching his chest to make sure that he was breathing and um i actually fed him his bottle at about four o'clock in the morning um kind of made it a little warmer so it will kind of warm his you know throat and he actually fell asleep after that and he was fine till morning so we had a rough night last night um so hopefully tonight he'll be better because he's been feeling really well and actually I've been able to stitch a little bit. Uh, we went out again today because I had to buy him some winter clothing and because everything is closed around us, it's really hard to do. Uh, and I wasn't able to order online because my credit card was fill filled up up until the 10th of the month. So today it was finally freed because payment paycheck came in so uh yeah we my husband paycheck because i'm currently not working so anyways um he we went out and i got him a couple of suits like pajamas and yeah so now i decided to film I don't know if I'll have enough uh, to show you this week, so maybe this video won't be that long. I don't, I don't know, maybe I will be able to show you something else. But I do have something new to show you that I've been trying to do when I'm at my mom's house and I haven't showed you before. I didn't want to because it wasn't part of my, uh, you know, cross-stitch cross or craft routine. It was just something that I started doing when I coming to my mom's house. Anyways, what you're seeing right now is my Hayed and that's what I took with me because I really wanted to make sure that I work on it a little bit more. I love working on it, by the way. It's so fun. <laughs> I love Heaven and Our Designs. And I think I did a pretty good job. Um, hopefully you are able to see a difference from the photo that I've showed you uh, what I had last and up to this point. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll keep stitching it a little more tonight, we'll see, but for now this is what I have, and I think that it's going along pretty well.
this week is not a roulette week. I have showed you what I've stitched before and most of the week basically I am dedicated to this. So this I think is supposed to be a leaf and this is the beginning of a flower. So I think that it will be beautiful once I get to the flowers and the girl. I think that the whole thing together will look amazing. I love stitching with this thread. This is SKS and I love this canvas. This Goblin Knit canvas is beautiful. Plus today I ordered a new kit. I found something beautiful that I could not keep my hands off and I ordered another kit. I just ordered one this month. I did not order a lot. Dying to show you. Um, I wish I could start that one as well because I think it's so amazing but I don't think I will. I think I need to finish something before I start something new because I'm going nuts over everything I have in my arms and if I could could help it I could just start everything in my stash because I love every single design that I have in my drawer of you know happiness <laughs> drawer of cross stitch happiness so yeah basically that's about it for this design I think I have here about 700 half crosses because I remember that the first day I stitched it I stitched about 300 and something and the second time 300 and something and I don't have I don't really remember or know how much I stitched today but Again, like I said, it's only 6 o'clock in the evening. No, 7 o'clock. So maybe I'll just stitch a little more of it a little bit later on tonight. Now let's move on to something really, really interesting. And here it is. So I have showed this kit to you in one of my... Um, one of my shopping videos. I think my later latest shopping videos and this is actually an interesting kit i think that those of you who are interested in different types of craft know what this is this is uh latch hook latch hook is a technique of sort of a carpeting technique and it is so beautiful and it is so easy to make and i think that the outcome is so fun now again it's really easy i have bought it actually for my mom because she has problem with her eyes and she really wants to cross stitch so she can't really do that and i decided to get this to her because i thought that the net is pretty big and the you know the whole process is really easy to do and um she just didn't even touch it once since i got it i don't know why i guess she just is not excited about it as i was because i'm excited about everything that i get now this is a kit from pana this is um poppies i guess trio and this is so fun <laughs> uh let's see if that it says something about it over here it's in russian mm -mm -mm. flurry uh flurry red poppy uh is a symbol of love and pleasure okay it's a symbol of love and pleasure full size is 40 over 40 centimeters this is supposed to be a pillow so uh, you can make it into a cross stitch as well if you want to use it as a thread because you do have a chart in this kit but basically what you're supposed to do is this um i can't i can make a tutorial of how i do it uh, in some video in the future if you would like to see that it's no problem I'll just have to bring my tripod to my mom's house so that will be a little later on if you would like to see that but uh, I actually am really enjoying this process like I said it's really really easy to make I got this kit in the store where did I get it? Oh, I got it in my bobbin. You have the link to the website down below in the info box. And like I said, it's so easy to do and it is so fun because it's something new for those of us who are cross-stitching. It's really 
great. Um, now, the only thing I don't like about this particular kit, I don't know how everybody else make them. I found a website called Hershner's, I think it's called, and they have many different types of this kit uh, over there, like from hat latch hook and um, I'm not sure how they are packaged. I do know that they sell this on AliExpress as well. They have a lot of different ones over at AliExpress. You can get them, but in this particular kit, the threads are, well, it's an acrylic thread. Oh, let me just pick it up. Now, it comes in these little, you know, I don't know how to call them containers <laughs> this little wraps and the thing about them is that you're supposed to make the colors um, like you're supposed to guess them by yourself just a second my husband is calling okay what was I saying my husband actually just called me he's on his way to work he's supposed to pick me up tomorrow morning so yeah it's his birthday tomorrow by the way so happy birthday to him will be tomorrow <laughs> anyways uh what was i saying about these little uh packs of thread now i understand that they need to pack it like this but why do they need to pack it like this i mean can you just do a little pack of these colors i mean just pack them in a smaller nylon or something i don't know because there are a couple of colors that come in a single you know packing like these these ones and it's kind of you know though they are not marked as well i don't know what these colors are the number four number seven because they do not correspond with any of the numbers in this nothing at all but couple of them come like this so i understand that it didn't have a place in the larger container or the larger pa packing but this is actually funny and i do have a couple of colors here that i don't know if on camera they are different but uh, in reality you can hardly see the difference like these two colors this is actually two different colors this is green and light green so i think on camera you can see the difference more obviously but in reality you cannot you can hardly see the difference i just remember which one of them is lighter so this is one color and this is a different color it would have been much easier if they would have just marked them and just get it over with but no they have to make it a little hard work for us so i don't know how it's like in other companies maybe every company packs their thread differently maybe they all do it i have no idea but i think that would have been a good idea just to make little packs of thread like this that don't come in a large you know larger amounts because it's a little you know annoying you have to guess which color is what uh, we do have a key over here and every color has its name so by the name of the symbol of the and the um, appearance of the thread in this little pack you're supposed to guess which thread you're supposed to use basically you can remember that after doing a couple of uh, you know trials but uh, still, it's a little annoying at first when you have to figure out which color goes where and which color is where, so, especially when the colors are so much alike. Now, also in the kit, like this, it comes with a key, it comes with a little instruction, it has, like, it says here in Russian, but because it's a Russian company, but still. Uh, and it comes with a chart. The chart is okay. It's really easy. It's not a difficult stitch or I don't know how you call it, but it's really, really small. Um, the little, you know, symbols are tiny and small. And basically that what made my mom not do it because she decided that was too, too tiny for her eyes and she couldn't see well. So that's 
a problem. So I decided that I wanted to try it and I wanted to do it myself because I could not just keep my hands off it. I'm just bad <laughs> with keeping my hands from new stuff. And I have started it. So I'm going to show you right now what I'm just going to fold it a little bit. So this is what I have already achieved. This is... I don't know how long I've been working on this. Not too long because basically I have been doing a little at a time when I come to my mom's house. But I think you can already see the flower starting to appear over here. These are the leaves over here and there's another one growing over here. And to be honest, it's really nice and soft. It looks really different and really fun and i really enjoy it actually my mom really likes the effect i think it will be a really pretty pillow like i said it's really easy to do you just need to make this little um you know hook and grab the thread through it and they give you this little hook to use just so you can pull the thread through so it's really easy nothing difficult but it's really fun to do it's really easy to do and it's really it's a really interesting effect i don't know the kits from aliexpress how the quality of this is but i think it's really soft and nice it has a lot of kid stuff like different kid designs i think that maybe one day i will get them uh, on Herschner's, they have a lot of Christmas designs, and I really like that idea. So maybe once I finish this one, I, I thought of buying a new kit for myself that I can keep at home, but then I decided not to yet, and I will just keep doing this for a while, and after I finish this, I'll order maybe a bigger kit that I can work on myself. Well, I'm working on this myself as well, so... <laughs> what's the difference all right so this is about all for today like i said today is the 10th tomorrow morning i'm going home back home with my husband in the morning tomorrow is his birthday so he'll kind of have to get some rest from working night and after that we'll see what we're going to do because on the 12th his friends are coming over his <laughs> our friends are coming over and I've actually got a couple of phone calls from our friends asking if they wanted to bring him gifts, if he already has stuff that they wanted to buy him. So, yeah, I'm kind of in between fires right now. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, I will see you in my next clip. Uh, hopefully it will be soon because tomorrow I think that I will be stitching something else if I'll have the time and if my eye will not be killing me like it was the last couple of days hopefully Marky did not destroy my eyesight <laughs> but still I think that um, everything will be okay and plus I have to work on some graphics for my you know for my lap ex boss let's say that so that's something that i need to do tomorrow as well so hopefully i'll have some time to stitch and we'll see we'll see what will happen tomorrow i don't want to make too many plans because i have no idea so i love you guys and i will see you in a couple of seconds hey guys so this is the last update for this week i'm actually back home now and i am my father <laughs> no in my husband's office um to be honest i'm kind of taking a little bit break a little break from my baby boy while he's taking a break from his patients i guess uh he's supposed to get patients a patient in like 15 minutes so i'll try to make this quick but i wanted to update you on this this was my progress for this week this is the diamond painting of my baby boy and I'm showing it to you every end of a video because I don't want to do like areas like this showing you squares like of pink all the time. So I decided to do it once a week in the end of each video. Um, no, I think it looks perfect. 
I think it looks perfect. Look at this little monkey. I cannot wait to see how this looks, how the face looks, because I cannot wait to see the eyes. Um, actually, it's around here. I actually already checked. So here is the eye, and the next roll that I'm going to do is going to be the eye. I really, really want to know what color that is because his eyes are actually, they're not even blue. They're like dark, light-ish, dark-ish blue. I don't even know how to describe the color. He's got blue eyes, that's for sure. But uh, which tint of blue, I'm not really sure yet. So yeah, but it's going to be really, really interesting. It's a huge, huge project. Oh my god. Now, I haven't been able to stitch as much as I wanted to when I was at my mom's house. I think that I've told you uh, that he actually scratched me in the eye. <laughs> um, I don't know if I said that, I don't remember, but I was holding him in my arms and he kind of looked back and sent his hand back. He wanted to touch my face, I guess. And he accidentally poked me in the eye. And I did not cut his nails in the last two days. So um, they are growing like crazy. And he kind of scratched my eye. So I was having a lot of trouble opening it and seeing what I'm doing. But I was trying to stitch because I really, really wanted to. So I did as much as I could. And that's about it. What can I say? <laughs> I think I made uh, an update about that. Um, pretty obvious. I think that I've talked about it. don't really remember. But um, anyways, I think that I'm going to skip my roulette for the next while. Uh, just because I don't think that I'll be able to be uh, really well coordinated with my roulette. Because of my graphics that I'm supposed to be doing as a job, kind of a job, um, I'm, I'm trying to work from home a little bit. Uh, plus I have the baby, plus I have a lot of stuff around. My husband's birthday was yesterday and no, it was on the 11th. Today is the 13th, so it was two days ago. So we had guests yesterday and a lot of stuff happening. So, um, well, life is happening. And I don't want to get like a thousand crosses from a difficult project and then not be able to do it and just tell you that, oops, I didn't do it. Or just take a week for that and, you know, not have anything interesting to show you with the rest of my projects i don't want that to happen i just want to stitch for my enjoyment so i was thinking that maybe for today for next week at least uh maybe for the next couple of weeks i will be putting my roulette aside and i'll be going back to filming just crafty weeks uh just stitching to my enjoyment i'm going to try and stitch the larger projects as well because i really really love all my projects i just tend to go for the easier ones because they're easier to hold like the hoops are smaller they're lighter and the bigger ones i'm supposed to take out my um you know holder for the you know for the frame for the big frame like for my 12 beauties and stuff so it's more difficult to do now that's fine uh, i'm trying i'm going to try to do all of my projects and not kind of you know leave them out of my rotation and just do the ones that are easier um yes yeah, so that's about it my husband is not working today he's got one more patient to go for his massage um and then i guess we're going to go out for a walk with marky and then i'm going to give him a bath and go put him to sleep so i'm supposed to go feed him i've actually fed him uh some pumpkin for the first time today girls those of you who have babies or children can you please tell me how do you make a puree puree out of pumpkin to make it sweeter or more tasty because I have no idea I've never eaten pumpkin myself and I cannot find any good like puree for babies 
that will be tasty because I've tasted it and to me it, ta it tastes kind of nah, not so good. Uh, he actually didn't like it n neither because he he likes sweets. He loves fruit. He loved uh, tomato. I'm going to give him some sweet potato maybe tomorrow to taste. But I think that I'm going to have a problem with him eating vegetables because they're not as sweet. So we'll see. But if you have some recipe for pumpkin puree for a baby maybe for tastings for just just for the beginning or maybe like together with some fruit or other vegetables to make it tasty so the baby will like it i would love to hear that um please write in the comment section or you can even write me on in private i would love to hear from you so that's about it that's my update for this diamond painting for this week hopefully by the next week i will already be able to show you something interesting in his face and yeah um i love you all thank you for watching thank you for subscribing those of you who are not subscribed yet please do that would really help me grow my channel and give me thumbs up of course don't forget uh press the bell down below to be notified when my videos come out <laughs> and i will see you i guess next week maybe during this week if i'll be able to film something else and yeah i love you all and see you later